G'day and welcome to another video with Better Peaks. Hope this finds everyone well. Today we're going to talk about lens profile corrections in Adobe Camera Raw for some popular drones. Specifically, the examples that we're using today are from the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And as uh, there's been a lot of discussion online around a lack of uh, lens profile corrections built into Adobe Camera Raw, I wanted to have a look at some methods on how to manually correct um, some of the issues that you'll see with particularly with still images when uh, taking photographs with this drone. You can see I've got a couple of images here, uh, one that's been taken over the ocean and one that was taken a long way inland in Australia. Something you'll probably notice on both images is the heavy darkening around the edges of the uh, frame and it's not too obvious in these images but there is quite a bit of uh, distortion as well. And this is something that's normally set up for and allowed for within uh, those profile corrections as uh, the way that the lenses work and render images is mapped out um, through profiles uh, by Adobe and their developers and then of course applying those profile corrections fixes any optical issues that result from the particular lenses from particular drones and it's normally uh, lens and uh, drone specific as well as lens and camera for um, other applications when it's not a drone. So what I wanted to have a look at is how we can deal with some of those issues without having a specific profile that exists. Now, I've got a particular method that I use. There may be different methods that you use, so please feel free to share your methods in the comments below, and hopefully we can all get some better results with the images. Now, the images straight out of the drone, uh, the Mini 3 Pro and certainly the Mini 4 Pro are fantastic. They're great images, and they're definitely usable and uh, they are rendered really full of rich detail and color uh, obviously depending on the profile that you're using the color profile that is so what we're going to have a look at is as I mentioned earlier you can see the darkening around the edges there we're going to have a look at optics and we're going to have a look at use profile corrections now as a standard I also use remote remove chromatic aberration but I generally have a look uh, closely at the image and if I need to do some more manual approaches with that I do as well but what we're going to look at today is profile corrections for the optics and we're going to select custom and we're going to use a DJI and we're actually going to use the Phantom 4 there we go and what we can do within Adobe Camera Raw is toggle the visibility of the application of that profile and you can see that there is some adjustment with the uh, distortion with the uh, the lens but also you can see that the uh, the heavy vignetting around the edge of the frame is also largely improved as well now it's not perfect there is some cropping as you can see with that uh, profile correction for the distortion we do lose a little bit of uh, detail and information on the edges uh, but it's not too bad on the scale of things and that's certainly the best profile that I've found that has worked now you can see there's still a little bit of vignetting there so I'm just going to grab that slider under the correction amount and I'm just going to increase that and you can see that it just increases the brightness. We're going to slide it all the way to the right. Again we can toggle that visibility on and off and you can see the result is much much better. Let's have a look at this next image and we're going to do exactly the same. Uh, custom. DJI, you can see it defaults to the Osmo Action 4 and when we toggle that visibility on and off there's a lot of distortion um, and it really doesn't work for this particular camera uh, on this drone. You can see the roads are uh, very curved, we lose a lot of detail on the edges, a lot of heavy cropping and it just doesn't work. So if we go down again to that Phantom 4, uh, the result is much better, we get rid of a lot of that vignetting and they're dealing with that little bit of um, distortion optically as well and again we're just going to take that vignette slide and just take it all the way to the right again turning off and on again so the results are much much better so as you can see it's a great way to um, work with uh, the lack of profile that's available for these particular drones and uh, it certainly helps to improve the results that we get with images and it just further helps to make these images more usable in a variety of applications. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks as always for stopping by. As I mentioned earlier, if anybody has uh, their methods that they'd like to contribute in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.